Welcome back to another Real Talk session with your man, Theodore Smiles. Let's go ahead and jump straight into the show. This one here is about XRP. Now, we're going to start with the price of Bitcoin as all the altcoins or alternative cryptocurrency coins flows off the current price of Bitcoin. Now, the markets are bleeding. People are dying out in the streets as far as in a figurative language, as far as crypto is concerned. The price of Bitcoin right now is currently at $29,716. Now, if you go back and look at one of my older shows, I was talking about Bitcoin when it went up to 64000 And I predicted that it would not go back up to 64000 once it went into its decline. And I was correct for nine months. Now, this is not any type of uh, financial advice, but I do want to bring you this article. Currently, the author is unknown because I didn't get a chance to jot that down in my screenshot. But people are exiting XRP right now. Now, I don't want to alarm you guys because I'm going to tell you something. I really believe that case against the SEC is going to be resolved in the year 2023. I actually made a uh, story about it in one of my uh, RTS News editions. I believe it was either RTS News, I believe it was RTS News 11. I talked about how the uh, case with the XRP uh, SEC debacle uh, should be resolved by then according to the article. So you guys want to learn more about when that case and how that case should be resolved, go ahead and check out the uh, RTS News 11. Now, I'll go ahead and uh, jump into this story here. All right. Got my little pen right here. So I ain't got to put fingerprints all over my screen. Disclaimer. The findings of the following analysis are the sole opinions of the writer and should not be considered investment advice. All right? This ain't no investment advice. Don't lose your money listening to me. Don't say or nothing listening to me. I done lost plenty of money in the XRP game, in the cryptocurrency, in the cryptocurrency game in general. I done made a whole lot too. Now, XRP has lost thirty percent on the charts in the past forty-eight hours, and the market structure was strongly bearish in the low to medium time horizons. A bullish divergence on the hourly chart set up a bounce toward the 40 cent area, but a hidden bearish divergence could materialize and signal a continuation of the downtrend. In other news, the number of the active addresses has been dropping for XRP since the year's start and this decline suggested that XRP will find it hard to reverse its long term downtrend reversal as well now, reading this bad news affects me because I have invested in our XRP since 2017. The 42 cent level was a level of support, but the price breached this level and retested it as resistance in the past two days. The 40 to 42 percent area was thereafter established a, excuse me, thereafter established as a bearish order block. At the time of the writing, the price dipped as low as 34 cents a coin. 
to mark from a swing as low as 33 cents. In the past few hours, the price has bounced from this swing low to the trade of 38 cents at press time of this article. Now, when I checked Bitcoin a little while ago, it was at 29,000. And when I look at XRP right now, it's currently trading at 42 cents. On this side over here, I have a live uh, reading of what's going on with XRP, uh, BTC, which is Bitcoin, SHIB, uh, a few other cryptocurrencies that I have on the radar or that I'm invested in currently. The trading volume for XRP has been immense in the past two days. And high volume is something that accompanies the formation of a bottom. However, it was too early to be sure. There was a bullish divergence formed between the price and the momentum. As the RSI formed higher lows, even as XRP formed lower lows on the hourly chart. Another thing on the RSI was the area around the 40 cent mark, which has acted as support and resistance on the RSI. It has been moving below the neutral 50 line to denote a bearish trend and has dipped as low as 24 cents. Now, the uh, Sto Stoactic RSI was also climbing toward the overbought region and the price could be forced to reverse soon. Now, this story is almost in conclusion. To confirm the seller dominance, the A slash D indicator died swiftly in recent days and recovery was not in sight yet. Conclusion. The price action was strongly bearish and the technicals showed sellers had the upper hand. The bearish order blocked at 40 cents is a place where sellers are likely to be strong and another move to the downside could be initiated. So if you guys still got some XRP, man, I ain't gonna lie, man. I got rid of all of mine. I put mine into like metaverse cryptocurrencies. I diversified my XRP because I realized that this whole case was gonna mess up everything. I saw it. I've been saw it coming. That's why I tried to make y'all a, a news article so y'all, you know, get up on it. Like I said, this ain't financial advice, man. Once again, this your man, Theodore Smiles. I'm signing out. I got about four or five more shows I need to go make. This right here is just the one about uh, XRP, man. I love y'all, man. Please subscribe, okay? I'm a small show, and I got a whole lot of material to bring to y'all, and it's all about helping you and your family grow, okay? And we're going to grow together because I got a whole lot of big-ass ideals, and I need you to be a part of it, baby. Yeah, I need you to be a part of it, baby. That's right, because I cannot bring past these huge visions alone. Thank you for supporting me.